everybody and welcome back to Throttle Grotto. Are you exhausted waiting to hear how this muffler is going to sound on the car? Well, you'll find out this time on Throttle Grotto. <music> So today it is the head-to-head -head shootout between the straight pipe and the homemade muffler filled with uh, scrubbing pads. So I'm going to move some stuff around here in the garage. I'm going to install the straight pipe and uh, we'll set up the decibel meter and we're going to do a head-to-head -head test. And then I'm going to put this on and actually finish mounting it and install this and do it the same way. Do a test and see which one sounds better. Let's get to it. All right, so let me show you what we've got here. We have some very, very high-tech uh, exhaust clamps here holding this tubing together. Uh, you know, because it's, uh, you know, dark, uh, blue tape's pretty highly speed rated, so we're going to use that. Um, but since this is only going to be on here for about two and a half minutes, I figured I'd just blue tape these connectors just to make sure that when I rev it up it doesn't blow the pipes apart skewing our test results but yeah we have the stock megaphone here that I've cut I've cut back to fit a two the two inch pipe and a piece of straight pipe so now I'm going to hook up the decibel meter and we will see how it sounds all right so we have set up here uh, I have set the decibel meter up at about 35 inches can't really say there we go 35 inches from the tailpipe so right now we show with me talking it is about 70.6 max um, it's averaging about 56 I think the 70.6 is when I set it down so all right now you can see here on the decibel meter me just talking it's normal conversation levels Ooh, we got up to phone ringtone there. Um, so I'm going to go start the car. And uh, it might take a little while for me to get this thing going because it's a very cold-blooded car. It does not like it does not like being cold at all. So the plan is once I get it running, I'm going to let it idle for a moment. And then I'm going to do about a 2,500 to 3,000 RPM rev because I don't have any coolant in it. So I don't want to go too long without... Uh, without coolant, although it's super cold out, which probably does the same thing. So it looks like the loudest we got on the decibel meter with the straight pipe exhaust was 81.8 decibels, which I don't know what that translates to on our meter, 
I think that measures out to Metropolitan Street, but I'm going to have to look <laughs> at the at the video once I play it back. All right, so I'm going to take the uh, heavy duty uh, heavy duty blue tape clamps off of here, and then uh, hook up the. I will finish up the actual installation of the exhaust properly, and then we will test it with the uh, with the muffler in place. All right, everybody. So I figured I would spare you the metalworking montage uh, since I made you sit through one of those making the muffler. I figured I'd just turn the camera off, get this thing wrapped up so that I could do the test. So, but first I'll show you guys how it looks underneath the car. Here we have the megaphone, which I put a lot of time into restoring, as you can tell. I think I restored it with some uh, some spray restoration in a can. It looks absolutely amazing. Um, there's our Muffler, it's a little extent, our little connector pipe there. I just used a spare piece, a two inch that I had to the megaphone. One thing that I have noticed is I'm probably going to need to put a heat shield between the uh, fuel tank and the exhaust. If you look here, it's really a tight fit between there. I mean, there's just between the leaf spring bolt there. And the muffler or the fuel tank, there's just not a lot of room. So, so let's set the let's set the decibel meter up and uh, see how this bad boy sounds. All right, so we are now ready to test the sound of the muffler uh, installed and welded onto the car. Um, and as you can see, mortgage rates fell again because I spared no expense in this decibel meter. So, uh, let's give it a shot. See how she sounds. Okay, so as you can see, we have we have nearly discovered what the five worst foods for real men are, and a 84.9 decibel max volume. So there we go. Apparently, I learned that I also need to do some tuning on those carbs because they are spitting and coughing when it's cold like crazy. Um, but hey, the muffler that I made, I think sounds better than a straight pipe, even though it's louder. <laughs> So I don't know if that's due to the stainless steel packing material that I used or if it's just the size of the muffler. Um, but either way, I'm really happy with how it sounds. Uh, 85 decibels is still, I believe, underneath the noise volume limit for a track. I think it's 95. Uh, so either way, I'm good. Um, Next week, I have a gift to install in the car from one of the subscribers to the channel, um, which I really, really appreciate. It was very, very nice of you. Um, so I'll, I'll go over that whole scenario next week. And unfortunately, I have to do some work to the car to make it work, to make it fit. So uh, that's coming up next week. Uh, and then I also have uh, the big brake kit to put on here that I ordered. Um, Still waiting on parts for that. Uh, it's a timely process to get all the parts together for this brake conversion. So, um, But we're getting very close to getting this Datsun out for the first time on the road, which I'm pretty excited about. All right, everybody, so that is all the time I have for this episode. Until next time, get out there and work on something.